Hey guys, so today I am coloring in a drawing of Master Zhong Li, aka Morax, aka Rex Lapis. <laughs> he has so many names. Um, anyways, um, I am making a drawing of him. There are a few things that I did by myself. Um, I also got inspiration from online, but basically, first off, I drew him in his hoodie, which is part of his god form. Um, this is what he looks like in his more god form, and he doesn't really wear the trench coat thing that he normally wears. Um, I was debating on what to actually draw in terms of clothing and I thought this one looked really pretty so I chose this design instead. Um, I do like the trench coat version a lot too. It's just like it's a tuxedo trench coat type of deal. I do like that one but I ended up like skipping out on it just because I felt there was so much dark colors and I wanted to do like light colors in this drawing. Um, for his mouth, I did add teeth dragon teeth because his original because his other form was a dragon um but it's not super canon in the it's not even canon in the um game itself when they show um master Zhong Li, they never show him with dragon teeth i just decided to do that because i thought it'd be fun to try and draw a smile with it um, master Zhong Li normally looks like a super friendly character so i wanted to draw dragon teeth but make it look super friendly in a way um it didn't turn out the best i have to say this is like probably one of the um, not the worst, but could be better and could be improved, like, mouths that I drew with, like, big teeth in it, but I do have a thing for, like, drawing, um, large creatures with, like, teeth, because I think it's super cool to see how it turns out. Also, I drew his dragon horns because I thought it would be pretty playing off of the dragon form again. The only thing I left out was his tail, um... Just imagine that it's lower, but I didn't draw it, so yeah, um, because he, I already drew his, like, ponytail and everything. For his hair, I made it glowing orange a bit on the tips, which is what he does when he uses his power in the game, I believe, but, um, I don't have Master Zhong Li in Genshin Impact, actually, um, this is one of those things that I missed out on a lot of times. I just missed out on a lot of five-star character pullings, to be honest, because there was a time where, like, I started playing and then I just completely stopped for, like, a couple good months. So, in the end, I missed out on a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't even know. And my friends, some of my friends got characters before me and one of my friends actually had, like, child before me and also a couple other good characters where i'm just like i wish i got them so i have to wait for like reruns um i am coloring in his hair now i like how his hair looks super short but in the back it has this very long thin ponytail it's really different from um from what like I expect when it comes to like drawing ponytails normally when I see like different anime characters the ponytails are more like higher and higher risen kind of like a I guess you could say Ariana Grande <laughs> um normally that's how uh, people wear their ponytails um I'm someone because it's funny because my hair is super um thick so what happens is I grow a lot of layers easily so whenever I do ponytails it kind of just like sinks down so I end up having like lower ponytails than most people when I tie my hair um but yeah this I think it's a really pretty design and they didn't go for something that was like high ponytails for the guys for most of the guys their ponytails are lower like Kaya's is low and to his side which I think looks super nice so I am shading in his hair um his hair is like one of the few hairs that is like normal like natural hair color so to be honest it was kind of fun to actually just 
sit back, relax, and color his hair instead of worrying about, like, the different colors that I need to, like, color for layering um, different shades and stuff like that. His was more easy because it's more brown natural tones, which I liked, um, except for the orange part, but yeah. I made his ponytail super long, which I think, I don't know, I'm gonna say this. I find hair really, like, pretty to draw, and, like, hair is probably one of the most relaxing parts to draw for me when it comes to, like, drawing characters. Everything else kind of, like, sometimes it's difficult to draw, like, different clothing designs and stuff like that, but drawing hair is probably, like, the easiest and most relaxing, and it normally turns out really pretty in the end, so I love how, like, you go from, like, sketching hair to like shading it in when coloring to get like the final results um recently i've been adding more and more layers to my um like different coloring techniques so yeah Okay, so on to his um, gold parts of his outfit. I literally did mixture of some parts were yellow and some parts were more like this darkish yellow, which is more closer to like a gold color. I don't have like an exact gold color when it comes to my touch markers. So I use this like yellow that has like some hints of brown in it, but it's not really um gold exactly but it's the closest that I have um yeah he has like this pattern on his arm and then it looks like his arm is like all completely brown so it it's interesting to see that design I saw like um, I was trying to get references for the actual, um, design of his arms, and to be honest, there wasn't that many where it was, like, crystal clear when I zoomed in, because the images were too small on Google, so what I ended up doing was looking at, like, cosplay images, um, it's kind of funny because his whole arm, his whole arm is brown color, so what happened is... When you look at cosplays, it's literally just, like, a whole sleeve, like, connected to, like, the fingertips. So it's, like, a long glove, basically, that's connected to, like, the hoodie part, which is kind of funny. I don't know. I kind of wanted that cosplay, but to be honest, I'm not really into wearing, like, so many gloves. I know a lot of characters that I like wear a whole bunch of gloves, but I'll probably not end up getting that one just because, I don't know, being stuck in gloves all day isn't really fun for me, especially because, like, just how warm I get when it comes to, like, wearing different layers of clothing. Um, but yeah, there is a couple cosplays that I did want to purchase. I wanted a Shao one and also maybe a Diluc, so I might end up looking for those online. Um, but yeah, Master Zhongli isn't really a complete favorite of mine. He's a favorite in terms of, like, character design and stuff like that, but he's not someone who... I necessarily would say I would put on my team, and I know a lot of people might get upset, but, uh, it's just based on preference. I have, like, this list of, this small list of characters that I like that I want to put onto my team, but right now I'm kind of struggling because, um, I put, like, Diluc on my team with Kaya, but the thing is, Diluc burns the ground easily, so he's been burning Kaya quite often, and I still haven't had the right sword yet for Diluc, so the whole thing is very confusing for me. <laughs> I'm still getting used to that, um, but yeah. So now I'm coloring in his arm with brown. I start off with, like, a light brown on the bottom portion of his arm just because it looks a bit lighter in references and then it's, like, darker on the, like, shoulder area. So I start off with, like, a lighter brown and then I switch to a darker brown afterwards.
to be honest, uh, Master's Only is actually kind of, um, I don't know. I haven't used these colors so often, except for the gold and maybe, like, orange and stuff like that. But to use, like, more of, like, a brown tone when it comes to drawing, I haven't done that. So it's nice and refreshing to see something new every day, especially because, like, uh, most of my drawings they use brighter colors so this is something that's like new to like try and draw and replicate um i think it turned out well except for like i wish i blended the brown better for the arm i didn't really bother trying to blend it so much which i should have to be honest because it probably would have looked better but it turned out okay I am just going through like the different patterns so that way they don't get like um the brown on them like I didn't want to leak the darker mark like the darker color too much onto the golden parts um some of the pausing is literally like for my filming is literally my hand just on the drawing because I was trying to change music so <laughs> I guess I was caught on the camera so yeah um Yeah, so now I am coloring in, ignore the beeps, that's my notifications, um, but anyways, I am coloring his other arm. I honestly didn't know what pose to do for him. I've been doing a lot of poses where people raise like one hand closer to their face or like their chest. So I didn't really want to do that again and again. So for him, I just did this like strong stance pose. But like, I didn't really try to do anything with his arms. I just kept his hands down. Um, I feel like I often always like go to certain poses where like the hand will be up close to the face and stuff like that and like those are nice poses to practice hands and stuff like that but honestly I didn't want to do like the same pose over and over again for each character so I did my best trying to avoid that. I'm so tempted to draw Toma though because I know um, the day that I'm filming his banner is supposed to come out. Like I know Hutel, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, she is actually the one who is like the main five star but they do have four stars with her and they have Toma. So I'm kind of interested. I might pull for him. Um, I don't really have good like in terms of, I don't believe in luck, but in terms of, like, pulling, it's harder for me to get, like, four stars. Like, I remember constantly getting, like, I would get five stars, and I wanted, like, Chong Young for the longest time, and it took me forever to actually get Chong Young. I think I pulled, like, six, six times ten, so 60 times, and then I finally got Chong Young, but it took forever just to get a four star for me. I think because the way I pull, normally I set myself up for like, I pull a bit, so like three or four times. And then by the time it reaches the other banner, I can probably get the five star, which is what happened when I forgot which character it was that I really wanted Chong Young and there was like a five star character on the banner and I ended up getting the five star character first. I think it was Ayaka or something. Totally forgot, but yeah, that's just me. I really was not happy <laughs> for some reason. I mean, she's a good character, don't get me wrong, but there's just some characters where they're four star and I'm like, yeah, I want those characters because of design and stuff like that. And also they would go well with my team. Um, but yeah. So now I am coloring in Master Zhongli's, um, horns. I actually am, I don't know if 
If Master Zhong Li gets a rerun, I don't know if I'd pull for him necessarily. I know he's like a really good character and he's pretty cool when it comes to like his design and stuff like that, but I don't know if I'd pull for him. I might just do it just for the sake of it. Why not? Because cool designs. I'm someone who's always into like the artwork and stuff like that. So yeah, now I'm outlining him. I really like his hair and like um, overall his clothing design. I do prefer the hoodie over the trench coat thing. Ignore that the light has changed in the video um, because it's getting darker when I was filming. So yeah, it's basically a bit darker and I should have turned on the light when I started filming to begin with so that way the sunlight didn't really affect it too much. But yeah, um, sunlight kind of comes through my window a bit. <laughs> so. So whenever it gets dark, it gets really dark, so I need to turn on the light for that. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I might draw Toma, so maybe look out for that. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm suddenly interested. He's not really a character that I'm super interested in, but I like his design overall. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see all the process work for Master Zhong Li, it will be in the, dis in the description box below. You can like, subscribe, and share this video too. Um, I'll be posting his sketch, his uh, marker, like the coloring process, and then the outlining process as well. So yeah. Overall, I like how he turned out. I didn't want to do a super serious pose, I guess, for him because Master Zhongli is always, like, super serious. I wanted something a bit lighter, so I gave him a smiley face, because <laughs> why not? Um, but yeah, I hope I didn't really take, like, his facial expression too out of character, though, because I wasn't really thinking about that, but now that I'm, like, filming, like, the recording of this, I'm like... Does that even fit his character properly? Maybe. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, and also for like the gold accents and stuff like that, I put some orange on it so that way it blended. So yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.